Hey guys, it's Lisa with the Barnyard Chicken and I have a small project share. I went to Home Depot today and I got these little clear bumpers. There are uh, 16 in there. I got two packages. And here is your product code. And here's an item number, I believe. And I also got these uh, tiles. These um, were on the clearance. I don't see a tag on it, but I thought they were really pretty. I've got these before, and they were a lot prettier than this, but I found these on the clearance, so I got them to make a quick little project. And um, so we're going to open these up. Okay. All right. And um, I, I got two packages of these, so um, I already opened this package so I could just pick them up. The last ones I got were beautiful on both sides, and you could use either side you wanted. But these here are not very pretty on this side. And um, but this one's really pretty. I'm gonna just turn it over. And the last time I made these uh, was a couple of years ago, and uh, maybe they're just not making them the same quality, these uh, pieces. But uh, the last time I just put these on the back of this. But this time, since I have discovered this uh, Fabri-Tac, this Fabri-Tac glue, I'm gonna go ahead and add the Fabri-Tac to this, even though these are self-adhesive. I'm just going to test it out and see what happens. And it's already dripping out. Look at that. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit on there. Woo! And um, you can put these anywhere you want. Just evenly space them in the corners. And like I said last time, I didn't even use glue, but I'm going to this time. Uh, I never had a problem with the other ones, but um, I lost them in the flood, so I'm going to make more. It's just a real simple project. It's really quick and easy. These were $4, and... Um, some change for this package. And um, let's see how many's in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine in this package. I'm sure there are nine in the other. The packages were the same size. You don't have to put the glue on there. I just wanted to try it out. Because I have been using the glue a lot, and I really like it. And these feet are really sticky, so you don't really have to use it. I just wanted to test the glue out and see how it would work on here. And... Um, I'm not going to say this is the same name brand I got either. And I may not have got it from Home Depot. I might have got it from Lowell's. I'm, I'm going to tell you that it's a better chance that I got them at Home Depot. Because the Lowell's over here hasn't really been around all that long. And when you don't put the glue on them, they it's instantly ready to use but since I put the glue on it it's gonna take a minute to dry but now I guess you know what I made I made a coaster so now I can set my drink on it and it this will absorb liquid so if your cup or drink it has condensation on it it will um, and this table's probably not straight. But anyway, I hope you liked this little tip. And see, they are just really beautiful. The back, this one, the back's not too bad. But it's a natural stone, and they make a really good coaster. So I'm going to make a set of four, and I'll be right back. 
you can do um, four coasters with a package of 16 because you need four of these. So one, two, three, four with one of these little packages. And you can get these anywhere. I believe sometimes you can even find them at the Dollar Tree. But, um, yeah, here they are. Or Harbor Freight. Maybe it was Harbor Freight that I see them out. But I don't go to Harbor Freight once or twice. I probably hadn't been there um, a half a dozen times in my life. Because I can't go by myself. It's not in a safe neighborhood. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish making these. Okay, Laugh Out Loud. Here are my four. These are lovely. They go good with any decor. And um, I just love making them. Um, you might want to wash them before you add your little um, bumpers. These are called clear bumpers. But you might want to add, uh, um, you might want to wash them first. The last time I made them, I washed them really good in the sink. And then I let them dry overnight. And then I uh, put them together because these are pretty dusty. I probably should have washed them first. I'm going to go ahead and make four more. And um, that's all I'll be able to make because I only bought two packages of this. And really, eight is probably enough. But um, I, couldn't, I could not buy two of these because they're so cool. And they're like four bucks. I mean, so I can make nine coasters for four bucks plus these and I think these are a dollar at um, Harbor Freight they were a little expensive at Home Depot they were over two dollars a piece I don't really remember what the price was but in all I got eight of them so let's see six dollars let's just say if I if I had to pay three dollars that would be six and four is ten so I paid less than a dollar a piece for each coaster. And it probably didn't cost that much. And if you buy these from Harbor Freight, like I said, they're a dollar. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. And I will see you next time. I would like to hear your comments, what you think about the coasters, if you've ever made any coasters like this, or if you have some cool coaster ideas, I'd like to hear that as well. And these are nice and absorbent. They absorb the liquid. And since they do not sit flat on the table, you could technically set these flat on the table, but with a little uh, raised area, the liquid won't uh, be touching the table because these the liquid will absorb through these because it is a uh, a natural stone and it's very absorbent and um, you do not want to put felt on these because the felt will get soaked and then it will soak the table you need a bumper of some sort they do have taller feet if you prefer but anyway um, that's just a little tip no felt and because um, the felt will get wet any type of fabric material will absorb the water and it will transfer to your table okay guys this is Lisa with the warrior chicken sitting on my love and my hugs